packing her in the bike bag, ready to go. That's Madeira. This is the, probably the only thing that will fall off my bike. Dropping! Oh. <laughs> Back here, MB Cycle, building this absolute Land Rover beauty. It's uh, the same colour actually as my Rampage bike up there. Scott um, surprised me with this bad boy, and I thought I was actually a one off special paint job, but this colour is actually coming in every range. You can get this colour in a genius, a ransom, and a downer bike next year, which is pretty sick for all uh, for Scott. So, anyway. We've got this one, full carbon, getting it built at MB Cycle here with Ben, ready for Trans Madeira next week. Oh, lovely unboxing, mate. Oh, Any good luck. You know what those do? No, yeah. Yeah, you can adjust how tight the clutch is. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> we'll have a max tightness, please. Do you know where that goes on the bike? Uh, there. That's what I thought. There, we've got the new front derailleur technology, the <laughs> secret. So I'm just putting my two cents in, which is probably going to be back. You watch, Trans Madeira, this is the, probably the only thing that will fall off my bike. <laughs> oh no, I've cursed it now. <laughs> what are we doing? Pulling you on or? It's going to get very hot. Well, we've got, we've got 204k of riding, 27 stages downhill. 5,000 k, 5,000 meters climbing. Don't talk yourself out of it. 15,000 meters descending. I think we could go for the boingy one. And look, we've got these pretty cool um, new bearings as opposed to bushings. So uh, super sensitive. That's going to be rad. And actually, that's got the lockout as well, so I can pedal up hills. Yeah. Done. Check that one out. brake pads for Trans Madeira so the amount he's going to be getting through <laughs> so, brakes a lot didn't he we are just swapping some tyres over we've got some new ones going on unfortunately for Trans Madeira we have to put downhill casing tyres on because it's so rocky and brutal and I don't want to uh, and obviously like I said 27 stages I don't want to uh, I think that's going to be all about consistency and keeping uh, keeping the air in the tyres so I'm going to substitute some climbing uh, power and put down all tyres back in front. I'm going to go Maxxis, D Minion, DHR, front and back. This is the Envy M9 downhill rim, which I pretty much run on all bikes for enduro. Actually got one on cross country bike as well. Best ever. Look at this rim strip. It's like a plastic insert into the, so it protects the carbon. And if you were, to ever dent your rim or anything happen, this thing completely saves us. And this is the honest truth. We've had them for two years. That's probably down and down there, right? That yeah, rim. this rim's so old and we just, ne there's no need to get rid of it. It's just absolutely perfect condition. We actually dented a rim in our race run in Andorra, like completely dented, my fault, hit a massive rock. Rim was cracked and it kept full air in the tires. Up. Bit of advice for you on sealant in tyres. A good, a good rule of thumb is when you put the sealant in that you cover four spokes like that. So it's four spokes worth of uh, sealant. As a little rule of thumb. <laughs> yeah, she's showing off. <laughs> He's a cheeky one, aren't you? Yes, baby, that's right. Got it. It's oh, amazing, man. It looks like proper rock. That's going to have 200 miles on my bottom on it over the next five days. We've obviously never done an enduro race before. Ben, 
now. So Ben is going to fully enduro out my bike. Ben, what are we doing? We're doing bottle cage yeah. with Alan Key on it. Yeah. Got a little, a little uh, pouch of Belgian mix halfway around when I get really desperate. We're going to do a quick link on there. We're gonna transfer there ready we've got finisher off is I actually never ride bottle cage because I don't like the look of it but this is going to be a necessity we've got Allen keys pump uh, inner tube holder actually I don't need an inner tube do we need an inner tube? probably, <laughs> probably. so we've got this this is the Syncros Pro kit so that's going to go on and finish her off then it's really enjoy ready actually and then all the pros put like a little quick link tape onto there so I'll do that as well and then we're pretty much ready for enduro oh, maybe we need a backpack as well do you? no I don't need a backpack no ready let's go rip this thing we're gonna go do some practice laps on this get it get make sure the thing's all in one piece ready for a packing her in the bike bag ready to go final piece of the puzzle obviously the Brendog vaults oh the ice ones as well I was actually kind of hoping for the black ones but we got ice after that, we'll go shred this thing. Let's ride on this absolute beast. I'm so stoked. Actually, the first thing I noticed is a 175 post. I've been so behind the times with a 150. That's the first thing I noticed, but let's rip this trail. Make sure nothing falls off. A quick little buzz around here before we pack her in the bike, uh, bike bag. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Crazy out of control bangs. <laughs>